What's up, everyone? It's Ask to Know back with another Azure Cloud adventure. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of cybersecurity, and trust me, things are about to get real. We're following the story of a top-tier tech team, but this time the stakes are higher than ever. Meet Jamie, our junior cloud engineer just starting his day, coffee in hand, completely unaware of the digital storm about to hit. Everything seems calm, systems humming, code compiling, the usual rhythm of the tech world, but hold on, what's that? Alarms start blaring, dashboards light up like a Christmas tree, and Jamie's once peaceful morning explodes into a full-blown cyber attack. This, my friends, is not a drill. We're talking unauthorized access, data breaches, the works. The team scrambles, adrenaline pumping, as they race against time to combat this digital threat. Will they be able to neutralize the attack before it's too late? Stick around to find out. Picture this, the sun streaming in, the coffee's brewing, and I'm just settling into my workday. I'm checking system logs, you know, the usual morning routine for a cloud engineer. Everything looks good. Green across the board, smooth sailing. I take a sip of my coffee, lean back, and bam, my screen erupts with alerts. Red warning lights are flashing. Critical error messages are popping up left and right. It's like someone threw a digital grenade into our perfectly organized system. My heart skips a beat. I've seen these kinds of alerts in training simulations, but this, this feels different. This is the real deal. I quickly call for Sarah, my senior engineer, my voice laced with a mix of panic and adrenaline. Okay, walk me through it. The sudden influx of alerts, the unusual system behavior, the telltale signs of a full-blown cyber attack. We're under attack. Jamie, isolate the affected servers. I'll notify security ops and initiate the incident response plan. We need to contain this threat before it spreads. The team springs into action, the once relaxed atmosphere now buzzing with urgency. Keyboards click furiously, phones are glued to ears, and the battle against the unseen enemy begins. This is it, folks, the moment of truth. Will they be able to repel the attack and protect their digital fortress? With the clock ticking, we dive deep into the trenches of our network, desperately searching for the source of the attack. It's like looking for a needle in a digital haystack, except this needle is trying to steal all our data. Guided by Sarah's expertise, I work tirelessly to isolate the compromised servers, effectively building digital firewalls to contain the breach. I'm in the zone now, my fingers flying across the keyboard, executing commands with a precision that belies my junior status. Meanwhile, I'm on the phone with the security operations team, a specialized unit trained to combat these digital threats. They're the digital equivalent of a SWAT team, equipped with the latest tools and techniques to neutralize even the most sophisticated attacks. Logs are analyzed, network traffic is scrutinized, every digital footprint is examined under a microscopic lens. The team is working in sync, their individual skills complementing each other, forming a united front against the invisible enemy. Slowly, painstakingly, a clearer picture begins to emerge. The attack, they discover, originated from a phishing email, a cleverly disguised message designed to trick an unsuspecting employee into giving up their credentials. Once inside, the attackers wasted no time. They moved laterally through the network, exploiting vulnerabilities, escalating privileges, and ultimately gaining access to sensitive data. It was a well-coordinated, highly sophisticated attack, the work of professionals, not some random script kiddie. But the team isn't giving up, not by a long shot. They've identified the attack vector, the method used to infiltrate their defenses. And now they're using that knowledge to track the attacker's movements, to understand their tactics, to predict their next move. This is a game of digital chess, a battle of wits waged in the blink of an eye, and our team is determined to checkmate the enemy. The tension is palpable, the stakes are high, but their resolve is unwavering. They will not rest until their digital fortress is secure once more. Armed with the knowledge of the attacker's tactics, our team shifts from defense to offense. It's time to fight back to reclaim our digital territory 
and show these cyber criminals that they messed with the wrong team. We know their playbook. Now let's rewrite the ending. We deploy countermeasures, strengthening our defenses, patching vulnerabilities faster than a team of digital tailors. Firewalls are reinforced. Intrusion detection systems are set to maximum sensitivity. Every possible entry point is locked down tighter than a drum. But it's not just about defense anymore. We're going on the offensive, deploying honeypots, those digital traps designed to lure the attackers into a false sense of security, to study their movements, to learn their secrets. It's a high stakes game of cat and mouse, a digital dance between predator and prey, and we are determined to lead the attackers on a merry chase they won't soon forget. I'm now a seasoned veteran of this digital battlefield, anticipating the attacker's moves, predicting their next target, and setting traps with the precision of a digital hunter. The tension in the room is thick enough to cut with a knife, but there's also a sense of exhilaration, a feeling of empowerment that comes from fighting back, from refusing to be a victim. Slowly but surely, the tide begins to turn. The attackers, once so confident, so in control, start to encounter resistance at every turn. Their carefully laid plans are disrupted, their tools rendered useless, their every move anticipated and countered. The tables have turned and we, once on the back foot, are now dictating the terms of engagement. We are pushing back the darkness, inch by digital inch, reclaiming our digital territory with each passing moment. With the last embers of the cyber attack extinguished, the team can finally breathe a collective sigh of relief. The adrenaline rush subsides, replaced by a wave of exhaustion, the kind that comes from staring down a digital abyss and emerging victorious. But the battle, while won, serves as a stark reminder of the ever-present threat lurking in the digital shadows. It's a wake-up call, a stark reminder that cybersecurity is not a one-time event, but a continuous process of vigilance and adaptation. As the dust settles, I gather the team for a debriefing. It's time to dissect the attack, to analyze our response, to learn from our mistakes, and emerge stronger, more resilient than before. We review every decision, every action, every line of code written in the heat of battle. No stone is left unturned, no detail too small to be scrutinized. We identify vulnerabilities, both technical and procedural, and brainstorm solutions to fortify our defenses. My eyes are open to the real-world implications of cybersecurity. I listen intently, absorbing every lesson, every insight shared by my more experienced colleagues. This experience, though terrifying, has been the most valuable training I could have asked for. The team emerges from the debriefing with a renewed sense of purpose, a shared commitment to stay one step ahead of the cyber criminals. We implement multi-factor authentication, strengthen password policies, and enhance employee training programs, focusing on recognizing and reporting suspicious activity. We understand that cybersecurity is not just about technology. It's about people, about creating a culture of awareness, of shared responsibility, where everyone plays a role in protecting our digital assets. The attack, though disruptive, ultimately serves as a catalyst for positive change, a reminder that even the most sophisticated defenses can be breached, but a well-prepared team, armed with the right knowledge and tools, can overcome any challenge. All right, so you've seen how crucial cybersecurity is. Even a simple phishing email can wreak havoc. Now, let's flip the script and imagine you're in the hot seat, interviewing for your dream Azure cloud role. Are you ready to face some tough questions about securing those cloud workloads? First up, a classic. Explain the shared responsibility model in Azure. Remember, it's not just on Microsoft. You've got a part to play too. Be clear about who secures what, from physical infrastructure to the applications themselves. Next, they might throw you a curveball. How would you secure a virtual machine in Azure? Don't just rattle off acronyms. Talk about network security groups, firewalls, maybe even dive into Azure Security Center for that extra credit. Now let's get specific. How do you manage identities and access control in Azure? This is where you shine with Azure Active Directory. Talk about role-based access control. 
multi-factor authentication, and how you'd implement them for airtight security. Time for a real-world scenario. You suspect a data breach? What are your first steps? Stay calm. Outline your incident response plan. Isolate affected systems, gather evidence, and don't forget to mention those Azure security logs. They're your best friend in a crisis. Last but not least, the open-ended question. How do you stay updated on the latest Azure security threats and best practices? This is where you show your passion. Mention Microsoft blogs, security conferences, maybe even throw in a few certifications you're working towards. Remember, acing these interview questions is just the beginning. Cybersecurity is an ongoing journey of learning and adaptation. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and you'll be well equipped to tackle whatever challenges the digital world throws your way. So there you have it. A glimpse into the high stakes world of cybersecurity and the crucial role Azure plays in keeping our digital lives safe. We've seen how even a seemingly ordinary day can turn into a full blown cyber attack and how important it is to be prepared. But now I want to hear from you. What are your go-to strategies for protecting your cloud environments? Drop your tips and tricks in the comments below. Let's learn from each other and build a more secure digital future together. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Azure cybersecurity, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our Ask to Know channel for more tech adventures. Until next time, stay safe, stay secure, and keep exploring the ever-evolving world of cloud computing and learn with the difference.